All right, Play Pals, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're new to our channel, click that red subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime we upload new videos. Now, lately, guys, I have been doing all kinds of styling with my LOL Surprise OMG dolls because I have so many of them. And today, I want to show you guys some more looks that I created with these dolls. So, without any further delays, let's go ahead and check out these looks. The first girl we have here is Lady Diva, guys. Now, Lady Diva looks fabulous. Lately, I have left her hair like this in these little Chun-Li buns, and I really like them a lot. Um, she actually has on Swag's earrings. So, so cute. And the little jumpsuit that she has on this jumpsuit actually belongs to Angie. The only thing I don't like about this jumpsuit is I think it looks a little raggedy right here um, and So I haven't really used it very much, but it's cute and uh, this is the look that I created for Lady Diva now you guys know that swag is one of my favorites. I just love her red lipstick I think it looks so cute and this is a look that I created for her She actually has on one of my um, Minnie Mouse uh, skirts it actually came from a fashion pack that I got for Minnie Mouse and I thought this little collar, I actually got it online. Um, I assume it's like Monster High or something, but I thought that was a nice little look for her. And then these little boots, I got these boots online. They are Monster High. And so I love it, love it, love it. I just think she looks fantastic and this is the look that I created for swag. So next up is Royal B, and this is my Royal B where I really created her little big afro. Uh, this little top, I actually made different rhinestones that you can get to accent outfits, and I created a, a little top for her. Also, I created this little choker necklace, also from some of the same types of things. I got this from Joanne Fabric, and right here she's got on the Diva belt and the Diva skirt and purse all from Lady Diva and I think it looks great. And so these boots guys are fantastic. They are some that I got online in a lot of doll clothes. And so guys, this is the look that I have for Royal B. So Snowlicious, love her too much. Okay, she is definitely a favorite of mine. This particular one, I didn't change her hair yet. She still has on the braids that she normally comes with. And this little outfit, this little jumper that she has on is actually Sparkle Girls. And I thought that was cute. I gave her these little bracelets with like the purple or yeah, like with the purple kind of shimmery. And also I gave her these silver bracelets. So I thought that was cute. And she actually has on shadow boots, which look fantastic. Nice to bring all these colors together, guys. And this is the look that I created for Snowlicious. So 24K DJ is a fan favorite, guys. And I actually wanted to get a second one of her, but they are so expensive online. I mean, the resale on these are really expensive. So I'm just gonna try to wait to see if I can get another one of her because I love her so much. And this is what she looks like. This outfit, guys, the top is actually Haunt Couture. It's actually a skirt, so I kind of created it like a shrug little look for her. And the, the skirt is from one of my Switch Witch dolls that I got, and I love this black and white skirt. And these little like boots, guys, I actually got these online not too long ago. I purchased them. I think they are so cute. So anyway, I was so excited to put this outfit with her. I thought the little purple lavender look went great with her hair. And so this is the look that I created for 24K DJ. So this is Dolly. And let me tell you what I did with Dolly. I actually used some um, hair chalk to color her hair. And I thought that was something interesting. I'm gonna have to see what it looks like when I actually wash it out. Um, I hope it doesn't stay too, too bad. Um, I actually had it in her hair it's been a couple of days now, so I don't know what it's going to look like when I take it out. But anyway, I wanted to give this a try. I'll have to, have to let you guys know um, what happens when I actually wash this out. Hopefully it, it comes out and her hair is still white, or at least uh, it, even if it's tinted a little bit, I can live with it. I just don't want it to be like orange forever, like dark orange. Um, it would be cute if it was like a peachy color, but we'll have to see. So anyway, um, this look right here for Dolly. She actually has on one of my Switch of Witch kind of capes or whatever you want to call it. I thought that looked cute. She has on Speedster shorts and so I kind of wanted to pull all that together and the little like racing kind of squares or whatever. I thought that the little checker print went well with that as well. So anyway guys, then I also have Speedster's boots. So I thought this was a great little combination for Dolly. So this is Dazzle guys and what I did was I pulled her hair back into a ponytail and used one of my Pop Pop hair surprises guys which is so cute and I thought that that pink looked great and what I did was I thought the necklace everything the blue um, it kind of you know pulled out the colors in her eyes and she has on one of my haunt couture tops underneath and she actually has on snowlicious little 
like um, boy shorts, underwear, whatever underneath. So anyway, that was what I did for her. And then I love these little kind of hot pink little boots. They are monster high, I believe. And um, I just think they're cute as well. So guys, this is the look that I created for Dazzle. So for Candylicious, I am always like putting like pastels and stuff like that on her. But this time I wanted to do something a little different. And so I used like, made her all golden. And this is really a skirt. It's a Barbie skirt, but I kind of, um, pulled it up a little bit so it kind of would look like a dress on her and this is one of my monster high little purses so I thought that was cute with the gold there and these gold kind of boots that are fantastic just love the heels on these I think all of the different designs and stuff look really cute and this is the look that I created for candy delicious so here is Uptown Girl and I thought I would give her a little more edgy kind of look. She has on all kinds of gold accessories. These earrings belong to Miss Independent. What she has on there, the dress is actually a Sparkle Girls skirt that I created for her. And then these boots, nice, nice, nice. And so this is a different look that I created for Uptown Girl. Now you guys know I love Neonlicious. I think she is so cute. And she has on one of my Minnie Mouse tops that I got from the Minnie Mouse girls uh, that I purchased their little fashion dolls. And this little skirt is a Han Couture skirt. And I just love it. I actually just got it recently and this is only the second time that I've styled it on a doll. And so that is cute. And these little shoes right here are shoes that I purchased recently when I bought a lot of um, doll shoes and boots and stuff and I think I actually got maybe 30 in that group and so anyway this is a look that I have for Neonlicious and I love it. So here's Alt Girl and you guys I have the most difficult time sometimes styling her because of her yellow and black hair but I was so happy when I put this outfit together. The yellow and black top actually came from one of my Switch of Witch um, dolls that I, I got and I thought it actually went great with her little bracelet right there and of course she has on the little boy shorts and the stockings that belong to Uptown Girl and the little purse that she has it does belong to Neonlicious and so Miss Positive so I think it's really cute and then these little boots again um, I just talked about the lot of like 30 boots and shoes and stuff that I got for my dolls and it was in that lot but this is the look that I created for Alt Girl. So you guys know that I love taking my na 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 surprise dolls, um, taking the hat and the hair off of them and putting on my LOL surprise dolls. And so this time I created another look for Neonlicious and I just love it. I just love it. I thought it went great with um, Lady Diva's little like jacket. This little skirt is from one of my na 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 surprises. And I just think that is so cute. And these little boots guys, again, that same lot that I told you about of boots and shoes and stuff I got it there and so the pink boots I just love them so anyway guys this is a super fabulous look that I actually created for Neonlicious and I just love it love it love it so guys that's all 12 looks I hope you really enjoyed what I showed you today and I have to admit that if I had to pick a favorite my favorite was the last one that I showed you guys I love Neonlicious with this outfit I think it looks so awesome on her I just love the kind of like peachy color hair and you know everything and I thought that these two just went well together it almost looks like I purchased them that way not that um, I actually kind of paired them together. So I thought it looked really, really awesome on her. So you guys let me know what you think about it in the comments below as well as the other outfits. And if you have one that is a favorite, let me know which one is your favorite. Um, again, I want to thank all of my new subscribers, my old subscribers. Thank you guys for clicking and sticking with me. Also sharing these videos, um, commenting below. You guys have been fantastic and I just want to thank you all. I hope you're being safe and I just want to let you know that I'm thinking about you today. But that's all we had today on Instant Ride Play. But before we go, I just wanted to say, even if you have a hard day, we hope you find some time to play and we'll see you next time on Instant Ride Play. That's what it's all about.